I'm hearing, wow, I'm hearing someone might start line dancing, so um, cool, enjoy. Maybe that's relevant to your connection, perhaps your person also, that you know, that's where you're going to reconnect, maybe it's something you'll pick up together. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups, King of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Cups in reverse. Oh look, there's that Ten of Wands again. And we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, let's take this as well. The Hierophant. So there is that Taurus energy. But do you see mm, the Hierophant, Ten of Wands? We also have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Something could be shifting for either you or your person, maybe for both of you, in a tangible sense. Now, it looks to me that um, whoever this tangible 3D situation is shifting for, this person has been unhappy for some time and maybe they're saying, okay, it's a whole new year, am I going to repeat another year in the same way that I have that I did last year or the year before or for however many years? Um, and it looks like they're saying, no, it's time to make a change, it's time to do what actually makes them happy. You know, four of cups, you have the three cups, they're boring, they're not satisfying you. Um, sometimes maybe the cups have even run dry. And the universe is offering you this amazing gift, this Ace of Cups. But of course, we can choose what we want to do with it. Do we want to take it? Do we want to leave it? And I think maybe for the longest time, actually, perhaps that's how it feels to you and maybe your person as well. They haven't been doing anything with it. They've been looking at this cup saying, well, this is everything, you know, that I want emotionally. This would really fill me up. But what about my situation? What about my job what about um, my family commitments what about my marriage or you know whatever this is to them the hierophant what about my beliefs if i go for this this cup over here i'm doing something i never thought i would do or i seem to be a person that i just you know never thought i was and that doesn't mean you know they're saying it would make them a bad person but just as an example maybe your person said to themselves i would only get married once and this will mean going through a divorce um maybe they said to themselves said to themselves, I will never get married. I will never commit to someone in that way. And actually they're feeling inspired to do this with you, you know? So whatever it is for your person. Now, as I said, if it's not your person, this could be you. So you might almost surprise yourself in this coming year at some point by saying that change I've really been wanting to make I'm actually going you know I'm going to go for it now because I haven't been happy maybe I've been keeping myself stuck because this situation that I'm in um, is secure maybe say it's work maybe you've reached a very high level of success here and um you know you know you could stay in this position for as long as you want to and you have a very nice income but your heart is saying what about that business you wanted to start or what about that other interest you have that you kind of you know want to move towards okay so what else please can my viewer expect to see changing within this connection please in 2022 you have the page of wands in reverse yeah you see that's exactly it um there's a new journey that someone's been wanting to go on it's all about um the heart and passion but i think they've been saying no i have to be logical you know i, I won't go in this direction because it's not stable um it's not grounded i don't actually even know for sure if it will become grounded i just have this feeling yeah look judgment in reverse a decision that's needed um to be made for some time. King of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> wow, and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Two queens and two kings, or in this deck, two mothers and two fathers. I just have to say, I'm getting this feeling that both of you are here, both you and your person, and these changes, um, I'm hearing consider, not consider, what's the word? Um, involve will impact both of you, these tangible decisions, because it's almost as though, let's say there are other relationships in the way of, of your connection here. If one or both of you leaves those relationships, that affects both of you in this connection. If there's a job that's in the way, if there's distance in terms of, um, you know, geographical distance, and then, you know, the other person moves, it's impacting both of you. So in some way there are, there are tangible 3D changes that um, will be impacting both of you, or you're going to be considering one another in making these decisions, these changes. Okay. So we have the Six of Cups in reverse on the back. So um, yeah, something's being put in the past and it's not coming back. 
Two of Swords in reverse, something that's needed to happen for some time, but it's been difficult, yeah, Five of Swords, to make this decision. And underneath that, I believe we have the Four of Wands, let's see. Oh my goodness, hold on. Well, Two of Cups, I did not see that. And then look, the Four, oh my goodness, Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, wow. Yeah, whatever this is, whoever side it's on, it's, it's actually affecting both of you um in a very practical tangible 3d way here this energy yeah it's not so much you know you can see we we have very few cups we have just the four of cups it's not so much um and the queen of cups it's not romantic it's not about the emotions even the passion it's quite a grounded energy it's almost like the passion the romance the energetic connection telepathic connection it's it's been there for a long time between you both you know about that and in 2022 there's a focus on okay, well, what do we do about this? Are we doing this or not? You know, are we grounding this or not? What actual practical steps can we take? I see a lot of things coming to an end, actually, with this, with 2021 coming to an end. I'm seeing um, struggles coming to an end. Um, one or both of you denying what your heart actually wants, what your feelings want in favour of trying to be practical or to make others happy that's coming to an end a lack of someone speaking their truth you know communicating clearly that's coming to an end um and i feel for you guys if you have felt devalued by your person not speaking their truth not communicating willingly um you know if you felt that they haven't returned your emotions and your affections in a very clear and direct way and that's really knocked your confidence and made you you know just not feel seen or maybe at times even doubt yourself and what you feel you know that you know to be true that's coming to an end as well so the first thing to say is i'm seeing that um some difficult cycles and difficult ways of interacting with one another that really left you both feeling dissatisfied that sort of thing is coming to an end here okay so um let's go in and clarify some of this and see what else comes out so we know what's coming to an end um i'm excited to see well what's going to replace this you know if we make space what's going to fill that gap We have the four of wands you know i have to say i feel this four of wands is talking about you and your person so you could be dealing with a twin flame here you know the 11 11 um so look out for those signs those synchronicities and it doesn't have to be the things that everyone considers to be related to twin flames like 11 11 um the lovers or seeing swans you know you can assign your own meanings to things and and in fact that might even be more meaningful because it's so random, it's so specific. So you could say, <clears throat> I don't know, whenever whenever I see um, a coaster, and I'm looking at my coasters here, you know, for um, like a, a drink or a whatever, that for me, that's gonna be my sign, uh, a twin flame sign. So let's say you're watching TV and someone puts a drink down on a coaster, you'll be like, aha, you know, and it means it's just for you. It's, it's your own um, sign. Anyway, so yes, twin flame, high vibrational soul connection. But look, these are two people who are, it's just them. There's no one else around They're You know, they've got their heads together. They're trying to come up with something and they're saying, OK, what does this mean for us in a practical sense? How are we going to move this forward? Um, what what plan can we come up with? For some reason, I'm hearing about Vikings. Um, I don't know if if someone likes Vikings or is like a historian in that area. Um, I was talking to someone um, a few weeks ago who casually, well, he, he made a joke about how he has Viking blood, you know, I don't know if he's joking or not, but <laughs> whatever. It sounded like a joke. So I don't know. That's coming to mind. I don't know why, but something to do with Vikings, possibly. Um, okay. Let's have a look at this Ace of Wands in reverse. Ooh, the Eight of Wands. Okay. There's a lot going on in this card. The um, the crow being this messenger, bringing you, um, I think, you know, first of all, what I'm seeing here is, is you might feel that there's an increase in 
I'm hearing a spike, a spike in your intuition. You know, you maybe become more intuitive. You're having more dreams or you start having very vivid dreams about this, about your person. Some of you may even have prophetic dreams to an extent. Um, seeing signs, seeing synchronicities. It's like you know this, this message is coming in before it comes in or you know this forward movement is going to happen before it does. Also, you see how this person's about to cut down these eight um, sticks or these eight wands here. It's almost, as I said, that the, the previous ways in which you and your person have been communicating with one another, which actually has been less than satisfactory in both of your opinions, it seems, that's being cut down. That's, you know, we're, we're over that. We're past that. We're not communicating that sort of a way anymore. Because I, I just feel that maybe you've had the same conversations over and over, or every time you talk, it ends up ultimately going the same way. Um, you know, if we look at this land, it, it looks quite barren. Nothing is really growing here. Um, so it's like, okay, well, we've got to make a change. We've got to do this differently if we're going to move forward. And I think both of you, this is the key here, that both of you are ready to try this in a new way. That's what's going to make this successful. Okay, we have the Chariot in Reverse, Cancer Energy. We have the Five of Wands and the Six of Swords. Again, this is it. Look, confusion in the past because of considering too many other people. And of course, you know, we have to be mindful of how our decisions are affecting others, particularly if there are children involved and that sort of thing. But um, we also have to consider ourselves within that equation. And I think maybe that wasn't happening so much. And you know, I feel it could have been that your person came across as selfish, actually, to you. Not that they were intending to, but because they were so focused on, on this other situation, work, family, um, questioning themselves. You know, who am I? What does it mean that I now feel this way or that I have an attraction to this person? That they were so absorbed in that that you might have been saying, well, what about me? What about us? What about this connection? Um, and yeah, they could have come across as a bit selfish. Um, of course, the King of Pentacles in reverse, that's someone who maybe has resources um, and isn't really, you know, sharing them. So um, those resources could be tangible things, you know, wealth, um, the home, it, the resources could be um, experience, insight, wisdom. Even, you know, in terms of your connection, probably more specifically, they may have been showing up as being grounded and stable for everyone else or other people, but just not showing up in that way in your connection, not showing up in a way that was dependable or reliable. Um, and you feeling like, are they ever going to make this decision? Whatever the decision is. And there's a complete awareness from your side as well that this decision they've got to make is big, it's life-changing. Um, but you know, judgment, judgment's kind of saying to us, internally, emotionally, you've made the decision it's about are you ready to take action you know this signals your rebirth it's going to be amazing but you're going to have to leave some things behind are you ready for this and um in 2021 they may not have been yeah look see the tower in reverse scorpio energy but your person and you know i feel you know as well that whatever this is it's, it's pretty huge and they were afraid to willingly step into a tower moment as you know most of us are as i said before um these changes will impact both of you it could be that both of you would need to make a huge decision that could bring in some kind of a tower but you know just like judgment the thing with the tower is that the only things the tower destroys are things that are holding us back making us miserable and actually things that we're, we're struggling to get away from ourselves you know the tower in the upright comes in to remove those things for us in kind of difficult ways but it's necessary so for example we have a job that's destroying us emotionally psychologically you know but the income is very good and we've built a life around that particular income and so we don't want to leave maybe we get fired you know because we weren't going to be able to resign by ourselves um but the tower was reversed, so it looks like the decision is, is happening without the universe having to bring in this tower. Okay, so yeah, in 2022, you can look forward to better communication here, both of you being very, um, oh, you know, trying to be very considerate when you're speaking with one another, maybe clarifying things um, as you go you know to make sure there are no misunderstandings or if someone says something and it gets well if they say something and it gets your back up or vice versa actually taking a breath and saying to yourself 
well, did they mean it in that way? Did I, you know, did I misinterpret it? And maybe checking with them, especially if, you know, you for some reason I'm hearing two fire signs. If you both have fire in your chart and you've been quite explosive in the past, um, it's, it's like you're both saying, okay, this is getting us nowhere. Let's try a different approach. Okay, so Queen of Cups, King of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Pentacles, the world. Look at all these endings, amazing. Oh my goodness, and the Wheel of Fortune, it's reversed. But I do get the feeling that it will naturally turn itself upright, you know, as these endings close themselves out. I just think this Four of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, even this Page of Wands, these are these are the energies that have been around your connection, ready to go. But of course, both you and your person need to be on the same page saying, okay, now we're ready to step into these new opportunities. So I feel there's a slowing down of communication. And what I mean by that is I know for some of you there's no communication, but whether you are talking or not, once communication begins again, you know, once you reconnect or the next time you speak, I feel that it's almost like, okay, let's slow this down. Let's really be mindful of what we're saying, what we're hearing. And that's actually going to get you further faster than maybe this sort of passionate interaction or communication, um, especially if it's, you know, start, stop, start, stop. So there's more mindfulness, awareness, thoughtfulness I'm seeing in your interactions in 2022, um, because both of you are very, very focused on, you know, okay, yes, we have this spiritual connection, you know, we have these, these emotions, but what about, what about the tangible side of things? What are we actually doing here? And it's like, you're both agreeing, we want to ground this, we want to make this stable, we want to build a community around us, this connection, um, we, we want to build a life here. Okay, so how? You know, and, and one thing that you're both agreeing on is, okay, we need to be quite practical, we need to be focused, committed, we need to take steady steps and double check everything as we go. Um, okay. We have Sagittarius energy here, more Taurus energy as well. Ah, temperance, Sagittarius again, yeah, equal give and take, balance, being very patient with one another, making sure everything is, is you know, reciprocated here. No, one person isn't giving too much, and um, the other person isn't taking too much. As well, in the past, if one of you was giving a lot emotionally, um, and the other person maybe was sort of just saying words, but it didn't feel that there was much happening around those words, I feel there's going to be more of a balancing out around that as well. Okay, anything else for this King of Swords? Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. And what's this? Oh, we have two more. Wow, the Devil, Capricorn, and the King of Wands. Goodness, okay. In the past, I have the feeling, and you can flip this if it's actually you, not your person, but I have the feeling that your person was very passionate, very lusty, very driven by the physical side of things. Um, very much desiring you. Maybe there were times when they seemed a bit hot-headed or a bit keen to get things moving and then they would just drop off the radar. Um, but at some point for your person, it changed. It wasn't just about pursuing you or this physical attraction or, um, you know, even the 3D, it became emotional. It became, they became awakened spiritually, spiritually to this. Their intuition started trying to tell them things, but I think they pushed it away and denied it. And maybe, you know, didn't communicate this to you, this change that had happened. Maybe you knew it had happened. You were trying to talk about it. They were denying it and it weighed heavily on you. Maybe there was a feeling of rejection as well. But what I can also see is your person didn't feel good about this either with the 10 of ones. It felt burdensome for them, the fact that maybe their feelings had evolved and changed, but they were still trying to keep them in a box. Um, that maybe naturally they wanted to communicate some of this with you, but they weren't sure how, or they felt ridiculous doing it, or they said to themselves, I'm not the sort of person that feels this way about, you know, another person or that will discuss these things. And, you know, keeping themselves limited and confined, not listening to that wake up call. So I feel that's something as well that's ending. <clears throat> this just feels really, it feels reciprocal, it feels mature, it feels like there's clear, open communication, and it feels like there's a sense of compassion in that 
there, you know, there's forgiveness. The energy is clear moving forward in 2022. So if there are things that you're both upset about um, or cross, you know, maybe you're going to have uh, conversations about this that will help, but it's like, okay, we both have things to learn. We both maybe wish we'd done some things differently. Um, we've both grown. We're both truly here now, you know, and present. And we trust each other. We trust ourselves. So let's just move forward. Okay. Oh my goodness, look. Page of Wands in the reverse. Wow. At the beginning and the end. Missed opportunities. These cycles that start and stop. Coming to an end. Knight of Swords, the Fall, Aquarius, Aries energy, Page of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Queen of Wands in reverse with Knight of Cups reverse and the Two of Cups in the reverse. Um, I feel for you guys specifically, if you're in connections, whether they're romantic, friendships, familial, work relationships and connections, it's like you're really standing up for yourself in 2022 and actually removing yourselves um, from any of those connections that aren't, um, you know, there's not equal respect, care, attention, love, whatever it is, that just aren't, you know, working for you anymore, aren't serving you. So that's good. Making those changes, standing up for yourself. I also feel that um, there's an impatience around you. You know, if you feel that, that within your connection you are being messed about or your person's about to mess you around, you know, um, or that there's an opportunity that's going to pass you by or you both take the opportunity and then you feel that they're stopping, you know, they're not going to put as much effort in and it's going to be another missed opportunity. It's like you're going to say something quickly. The Knight of Swords is, I feel it, I need to say it, I've said it. Um, we're not letting it fester below, you know, the surface. We're not letting the feelings or the thoughts linger. Um, we're not just going to repress it and hope that it will just go away. You know, brush it under the carpet and then the carpet is like this heaving pile. We're not doing that. The only thing with the Knight of Swords is sometimes um, it's an energy of rushing in a bit too quickly, needing to think something through a little bit more in terms of how we're going to communicate this because it could rile the other person up. You know, the Knight of Swords can sometimes feel like an attack. So I think the guidance and advice there would be spirits commending you and saying, yes, speak about things as and when they happen. You know, that's usually the best and easiest time to deal with something in the moment. But do be mindful, as we were talking about over here, this mindful um, communication with one another. So maybe like a king of swords or queen of swords rather than a knight. But the the feeling of, I want to talk about this now, spirit saying yes, um, you know, that's good to keep the momentum going here. And I just, you know, again, I just feel this, this energy around you guys specifically. So maybe your person, but really around you that, you're just not having it in 2022. Anything with anyone that's slow, you're not getting enough back. It's not working for you. Um, people aren't pulling their weight. It's not in alignment for your highest and best good anymore. Even if it's, you know, a hobby or something, it's like you're just axing it and you're saying, no, I don't need this anymore. Um, there's absolutely no reason, no benefit for me keeping this around or keeping this connection, this friendship or, you know, taking the time to meet up with this person when all they do is moan and it brings me down, you know, no, I'm not doing any of that. Okay. So let's get a couple of, um, we'll do some Minology cards, we'll get some Chakra cards as well for your connection and then we will get some advice and guidance for you. Okay, so spirit, in a time frame that my person, my person, in a time frame that my viewer has set, can you please show us what can they expect to unfold between them and the person in 2022? Okay, it's too many. Let's try that again. We have, wow, look at this. What do you need to release? So spirit could be saying, you know, first, before moving into 2022, or, you know, at the start of 2022, it's a good time to ask yourself, what do I need to release? But, you know, I have to say, I think you're doing that anyway. We've seen it in this reading, as I said, both you and your person, or one of you at least, making such a big change, it impacts both of you. And over here, as I kept saying, your energy specifically, it's like you're saying, you're asking yourself, you're more than happy to be honest with yourself and say, who or what do I need to release? 
and it's just going. It's, it's like you're not going to have any problems releasing it. Um, so Spirit's saying, yeah, be prepared to release some things that actually have been weighing you down. It could even be, you know, this, this furniture I have is really old or I've got too much of it. It's, it's cluttering things up, my house, my energy, and you're going to be releasing that, you know? It's, it could be absolutely anything here, but whatever it is, you'll be able to do it with ease. Okay, what else, please? We have work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. And we have nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, so everything is still to playful here, even the things that might seem, um, you know, I've built this up around me, I've been doing this for years, um, everything, all aspects of my life, I'll. I'll um, you know, are woven into this, I cannot make a change. Spirit's saying it may be your fear that's telling you this. So I feel this could be specifically for your person here with that King of Pentacles um, and the Ten of Wands. You know, they could be saying, well, I've, I've been the sort of person who has said and done this sort of thing for my whole life, it's too late to change. And actually Spirit's saying no, even if it seems like things have been fixed and permanent for a long time, you can, at any point you can actually say, now I'm choosing to show up differently. Now I'm going to make a change. Okay. In fact, let's get one more of those. Oh, look, believe in the impossible. So this is a blue moon. Yeah, and for someone, making a change seems impossible. You know, it seems like it is set in stone the spirit's saying actually no no it's not you know in 2022 i think it's time to believe in the impossible it's time to you know um with the fall take that leap and i actually feel both of you um will be much more open to doing so they could be i don't know why the vikings keep coming through a connection with the vikings or even um egypt or the egyptians also libra someone might be a libra or dealing with a libra So what can maybe you expect, please, in the time frame they've set for 2022? Expansion, absolutely. And look at this blue throat chakra, lots of communication. So really communication is the focus here, and that's going to lead to expansion um, within this connection between the both of you. This um, yellow energy, especially right next to the green, it makes me think of daffodils. So they could be relevant. I'm not sure what the meaning is or, uh, you know, the spiritual meaning of daffodils or even just maybe a traditional meaning in terms of the flower. Okay, what else, please? Daffodils come up at spring, I think, right? Which is about new beginnings. Um, yeah, okay, what else, please? Anything else from this deck? Yes, okay. Okay, so we have, ooh, perfection. This is throwing me a little because perfection is, is, you know, wonderful. So there could be something within this connection in 2022 that to you feels like pure perfection in terms of how it's working out. But I feel there's almost a caution here with this card around perfection. I'm just feeling into what it is. It's something around... You know, if we if we expect perfection at all times from ourselves and maybe from the things we do and from our connections, obviously we can be disappointed because what we think is perfect, another person might not, and so we're going to feel let down, whereas they're thinking they've shown up in a way that's... There's, there's just something here maybe around being gentle to yourself, kind to yourself, um, 
seeing things from different perspectives so empathy you know um seeing your perspective seeing a person's perspective but really i'm really no spirit's drawing me back to being gentle to yourself i don't know i don't really know oh my goodness look i didn't see this recovery for some of you maybe you are perfectionists maybe that's led actually to some very difficult patterns of thought some difficult behaviors and spirit's saying in 2022 please you know don't always strive for perfection or strive for perfection in the moment what is perfect for you now what's the best that you can do in any given moment the key here i think the key for you and your person is communication what's you know how is the best way that you can communicate in any given moment it doesn't have to be the most perfect way all the time just the best that you can both bring to the table at that point i'm not exactly sure here but this you know because it will be different for each of you but there is something here with perfection it feels almost it's like a caution please be careful with expectations around perfection but spe specifically the expectations you're putting upon yourself um because if you're expecting i don't know expecting yourself to shop perfectly every time you might feel that you've let yourself down sometimes i don't know i don't know but i think you'll know if this is for you because if you are a perfectionist maybe you have you know within this connection specifically as well you might be beating yourself up a bit saying well if only i hadn't have said this or if only i'd have said that at this particular time i waited too long or i should have and if this isn't you it could be your person you know i just feel spirit saying no none of that you know everything happened as the, happened the way it did for a reason it's it's time for us to be more gentle with each other and with ourselves okay um, and here we have miracle which is pretty amazing because look we have underneath believe in the impossible so guys in 2022 expect some sort of miracle to happen and in fact set your intention now why not at the beginning of the year you know and see how this unfolds for you but i think this is really saying in 2022 within your connection don't settle don't say well i want this but i probably can't have it so i'll just have half of what i wanted you know i'll just set my sights for that spirit so no really aim big here dream big Okay, so let's get some guidance and advice for you before we wrap this up. Okay, so what are your messages of guidance and advice for my viewers, please? It's only my connection in 2022. Hold on. <clears throat> Before that, actually, I want to get a card for this um, perfection message because I just feel there's something else. Where is, where's my deck? Oh, it's over there. Um, okay, I'll use this one. No, actually, I cannot. I'm being told this one. Fine. Okay, so perfection, can you clarify, please? Yeah, the, the Age of Swords in Reverse was trying to flip out. So, um, someone here is you, your person, someone is has, or has been tying themselves up in knots, aiming, striving for perfection at every single turn. And sometimes it's enough just to do what we can in the moment and to keep things moving. Look at that, the devil, you see? But it's in reverse. There's something here connecting perfection to the idea of recovery around recovery from a toxic, you know, um, way of, of talking to ourselves, thinking about ourselves behaving um so again whoever this is you or your person maybe both of you it could be that putting such pressure on yourself or your person doing this to themselves led to some escapist tendencies because if you're telling yourself 24 7 do better do better do better who doesn't want to break from that you know um so maybe leading to things like you know alcohol drugs or binge watching things anything to escape this inner feeling, this inner perhaps mental attitude towards either yourself or your person towards themselves. But in 2022, Spirit's saying, yeah, let's move forward towards, you know, healthier um, habits here that start with how we think about ourselves and how we treat ourselves and, and what we say to ourselves internally, being kinder. So I feel this is, this is a positive, um, you know, sort of progress here, positive, um, movement 
uh, change that's happening anyway, but Spirit's saying, you know, if this is you, do focus on this, um, make a point of, of not always pushing for perfection, and if it's your person, hopefully they will do the same. Whew, okay. <laughs> So let's get you some guidance and advice. So what's this that popped out? Four of Swords. So rest. Take it easy for a while. Make sure you're getting the rest as well. And also taking time for yourself. You know, maybe you're very busy with work, friends, family. Um, but it's about, you know, remembering to take time to meditate or to get your eight hours sleep if possible or however many you can have or need to have. Um, to eat well, to do things that you find enjoyable just for fun, not because it's, you know, something you need to do. We have the chariot, cancer energy. We have the emperor, Aries energy. Ooh, nice. Three of wands in reverse. Let me clarify this three of wands reverse. Seven of swords in reverse. Oh my goodness. Okay. And the back, three of pentacles. This is very much like the advice I was talking about over on this side of the uh, the deck, where I was, sorry, the, the spread here, where I was saying that things that aren't working for you, you're going to be letting go of. So I feel this is confirming that, you know, four of swords, taking that moment to pause, um, to ask yourself, to reflect, you know, what's working for me, what isn't, where do I want to head from here? The chariot is saying, um, you know, try to get a firm grip on all of the moving parts involved and set your sights on your goal and go for it and actually i'm not going to talk too much around that because i feel you're doing that anyway you will be in 2022 and look we have the emperor next to it confirming you're going to be in like you know boss mode here super boss mode <laughs> going for what you want you're not going to need encouragement you're not going to need anyone to say to you oh yeah it's a good idea go for it you'll be like yeah thanks i know i am <laughs> you know <laughs> like you're doing it anyway if you're thinking of um starting your own business or maybe adding you maybe you have your own business and you want to change direction or add something to it or expand in some way spirit saying absolutely go for it this is a great time three of ones reverse seven of swords reversed asking yourself have there been things i've been holding on to and waiting for for the longest time maybe even i've even been giving lots of effort into these things and they're not materializing they're not manifesting spirit saying the advice here is not to deceive yourself so how how do we deceive ourselves with manifesting we could be telling ourselves we want something when really we don't we could be telling ourselves that um we're ready for something when we're not we could be telling ourselves oh you know yeah this this person will change not your connection here i'm thinking in general so let's say a friend oh this friend will change and one day they're going to remember my birthday and one day they're going to appreciate me and really you know that's just not going to happen maybe they're not that sort of person maybe the friendship isn't as good as you would like and that sounds harsh but the thing is i think you're going to be that harsh in 2022 it's not harsh it's queen of swords isn't it it's practical it's saying i've given as much as i can i've given it as much time as i, I have that i want to give you know it's done it's over so being really honest with yourself about things here specifically around what you've been looking forward to out there or wanting to bring towards you why is it not coming in and it doesn't mean you're going to have to get rid of all of these things it might be that you say to yourself okay i've been trying to manifest a pay rise it's not happening um let me be really honest with myself and ask why do i need to be more direct in asking for this pay rise do i need to maybe actually take on more work to show that you know i, I deserve a pay rise or you know whatever it is whether it's to do with career money or you know relationships but um I, again i feel this is going to happen very naturally the chariot the the emperor that's um those energies of someone who is looking at all things involved who is being honest with themselves and others and who isn't afraid to make difficult decisions here so in early 2022, you know, maybe the first couple of weeks, first few weeks of January, something like that, you might be actually quiet, doing a lot of introspection here, making your decisions. And once you've made them, I see you acting and moving forward very powerfully. Um, okay, let me get one more before we go. This three of wands, seven of swords. of pentacles hmm. yeah ace of cups in reverse what again what's been holding your manifestations back 
the Ace of Cups. So it's something maybe you've wanted here, something that would be very emotionally fulfilling, but it hasn't been coming in. And you're going to be asking yourself, and Spirit's definitely encouraging you to ask yourself, have you been having maybe um, thoughts here that have been cancelling each other out or, or patterns of behaviour? So let's say, for example, I don't know, I want to be healthier. So um, I have, you know, a dinner that has lots of vegetables and um, I'm conscious of all the, diff the, the fats, the carbohydrates, the calories, all of that. But then later on, I'll just have, you know, a bunch of donuts and chocolate. So I'm sort of cancelling it out, you see. Um, maybe you have been manifesting and you've been, I don't know, telling yourself, doing your affirmations, saying such and such is possible. This is going to happen. I know it's going to happen. But actually, there's a need to do that deeper inner work and to change your inner beliefs on maybe a subconscious level. So there's something here where... Yeah, there's just something that's that's not been helping, really, um, whether it's coming from you or someone else. And I think you're going to be cancelling that behaviour out, or if it's a person, removing them, actually. Um, and Spirit's saying that is the right thing to do. Okay, so I will leave this here. I hope this has been helpful. If you've made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. This was definitely a longer one. Um, so I hope you have a lovely New Year's Eve if you're watching this when it's published. Um, and if you've not already, you know, depending on where you are in the world, you might already be in January. But um, otherwise, I hope you're having a lovely 2022 and hopefully see you soon. Bye.